You know what was interesting? Anderson Silva said something about that in an interview uh, where he was talking about he thinks that obviously you don't want doping in the sport. He's like, but he thinks that TRT should be something that's regulated by USADA and something that then he should then you should fight guys your age who are also on TRT. Then that's what it should be. It shouldn't. It should be weird. I, it's a weird thing going on there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it should be legal. I think I think when you're younger, you should fight. When you get older, you look for some other shit to do. Like yeah. hang out with Jimmy. Like Absolutely. I or, or I'm sure Anderson could open a school. Does he have a, a gym open down there? You know what bothers me about Anderson Silva? Yeah. Can I just say right now? Sure. Um, He's always calling out like the small guys, man. He wanted to fight. He wanted a rematch with Nick Diaz. Enough for nothing. Nick Diaz. I love that dude. I love watching him fight. But he's a smaller guy than Anderson. Not that he didn't handle, hand, handle his own in there. He did great. And then there's um, then he wanted to fight Conor McGregor. It's like what the fuck are you talking about? He's also looking for money fights. Diaz is a money fight. McGregor's a money fight. Yeah. He probably doesn't see him. I don't know. There's other G- John Jones GSP, is a money he fight. Called out too, you know. What's that? Well, yeah, he called out GSP. Did he? Who did yeah. he call out that his side? John is Jones is a money. Fight. I don't. Yeah, man. I think who he knows f- he'd get murdered by Jones. So, so he's. So what are you telling me then? I think he knows that wouldn't sell for that reason. But then again, John. When John Jones, I was next to John when Anderson lost yeah. the first time. I was standing next to him closely, very right after, and we said hello, and he goes, "That just cost me ten million dollars." <laughs> Who said that? John. Did. He might have been joking. <laughs> when Anderson yeah, lost, yeah. They, they were probably gearing oh, up for a super that's fight, hilarious. and then Weidman stepped in. Right. Now he may have just been using hyperbole and kidding, but no. But you know what? At that point, if Anderson Silva wins that fight, he. I mean, undoubtedly, he goes down as one of the greatest ever. Anyway, but if he had won that fight. Who, who else is there for him to fight? And then, yeah, that would actually make sense to put him together with John Jones, potentially at light heavyweight, let him move up. Um, yeah, Chell did it. Can yeah. you put up the card for this weekend, please? Yeah, sure. Because, you know, TJ I like, to get, I like to get amped up. Against Henry Cejudo. Yeah. This All is right. not going to be an easy fight for TJ because <sighs> he is coming down in weight. He's not going to run through Cejudo. I, th- I think Cejudo's going to be tougher than he anticipates. And then a lot of people anticipate because he's staying at his natural weight. Did you guys see what Cejudo looks like, by the way? Did you see the picture? Yeah, he's he got with short there? black hair. <laughs> he looks That's terrible. Joke. He looks way bigger than he normally looks. I think fighting at that weight, it's going to be interesting to see how the how the weight cuts go. You know, well, TJ is going one way where he's losing the weight. I think ahead of time, he's slimmed down a little bit. He's leaner. Cejudo looks at you. Is it going fair to, to say that everybody's making this the the, the TJ? Dillashaw story here. I mean, nobody's really talking about Cejudo. I'm I, I, maybe I'm wrong with this. They're not. I don't think. I think they're talking about TJ going down, handling some business. And I mean, um, people even. I mean, TJ even made a joke about, oh, they pay me money to go down there and destroy the division and this and that. Right. All that gets. Uh, Henry wins. Man, nobody's talking about Henry winning. Oh, I agree. Look, Henry has a seven pack. Yeah. I've never seen a seven pack Hold on, before. I, now that you got that picture up, look, I put my shirt back on. Why? Because <laughs> I'm depressed. Look at that. Yeah, he looks giant to me. Yeah, he looks strong. Man. It's interesting. What, looking at that and then seeing kind of the pictures that TJ's That's put right. up, Nothing. it looks like TJ's going maybe for more speed, like a little leaner, whereas Henry might be going for a little bit more power. Let's talk about like who has... Well, no, TJ did fight the who's who, though. It's not like TJ hasn't fought. No, people. come on, yeah, no shit. Beat Cody twice. He's fucking fought Dominic Cruz. I mean, you know, a, a, you know, a, 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 but the uh, wrestling. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and also uh, Barrow. Yep. Yeah, yes, beat be Barrow. One of the greatest. But fights what ever. about Absolutely. what about strictly grappling? A guy that's looking to put him on his ass. Who who has he fought like that? I'm waiting. <laughs> who? I'm trying to think. Yeah, and, well, I, I mean, mean, if you're t- talking, in I mean, terms this guy's of, an Olympian. Yeah, Olympic level wrestling. No one. He hasn't fought anybody like that. So I mean, enough for nothing. You know, the Henry just he beat Mighty Mouse. He did. Arguably the best thing who ever played the game. Yeah. So it's like, although I don't remember agreeing with that decision. I don't remember it, but I remember thinking that Demetrius won that fight. But I could be wrong, just remembering it wrong. Yeah, I don't think I watched it. Actually, maybe I watched it twice. I, I think I thought it was reasonable that Cejudo won, but it was a very, very close fight. Um, you know, I think if you ran that 10 times, it might be five, five, you know, you don't know how it would go. But, um, also TJ's talked about, not that he's looking past Cejudo at all, but he's talked about it. And we talked about it a little bit before the show that he's looking to potentially go up to 145 down the road and fight Max. Ma- I mean, come on. That's, that's a bad move. Yeah. Ma- Max is killing guys at his, you know, I mean, uh, you know, Brian Ortega is not a small guy. TJ would be very small going up. I feel bad, right. Jimmy. I do that cameo thing for the shout outs, but I, I then I look at my Instagram and I forget that I'm on there and I go oh this one expired that one expired I'm yeah, sorry you gotta guys do them. I got to do them that's the point of me being on there I'm sorry people do the send it again do the if anybody chip. if it expired that expired and, and and good 
Jimmy. Got to do him. Keep the money. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not I did, I'm happy that's going well for you or him or whatever yeah, the fuck's me. going on there. It's weird shit. You got to do it. I'm your friend. I'm not Chip's friend, and I'm, I'm not against Chip. I hope he does all right. What I wonder is after this fight, if Henry Cejudo Go is going to think of going up to bantamweight. Well, that's what we got to. That's it. You know what? Get him on the phone. Oh wait, wait. What time do we call? He'll be calling in like five minutes. Oh, he's calling us. All right. Hey, listen. Yeah. I'm just limping around Manhattan. What the fuck do I got to do? Yeah, the that is that is right. I mean, that's the question, Jimmy. Like, there's speculation about the flyweight division, whatever. Mm. There's nothing official about that. But if Cejudo is able to defend this belt, does he want to go up and then fight TJ for the 135 title? Which is what he wanted to do before this, anyway. He had talked about he wanted to go up rather than TJ coming down. It might be a necessity. Maybe that's why he's getting bigger too. I, I, who knows? I mean, uh, well, it may be a necessity. Who's that picture? Is he with just his weight coach? That's a strength and conditioning okay. coach. Okay. I mean, a big guy. Oh, yeah. In damn good shape. Yep. Yeah, it's interesting. He's part of, I think it's NeuroForce One is like his his training thing, and, and TJ is with Sam Calavita. They both have different strength conditioning regimens, very scientific, so it's it's really a, an interesting matchup in that way, too, how they train, how they prepare for the fight. What do you, what do you think they do for strength? What's, what's something you would do for strength and conditioning? Push-ups? Like? Really? Yeah. How many? Me? What, what do you think a fighter would do? I mean, people Sense do of 25. I never, I'm not a, I was never a big weight guy myself. I would always do a lot of calisthenics and push ups and running hills and yada yada, all that kind of stuff. Now, you how know? many uh, push ups would you do? Nah, it depends, man. Sets of 25? No, nah, there's a little different. Like, you do some walking them out push ups during, like, a, like, if there's a big long conditioning session of like an hour and a half or something, like, you'd have that in between, like, uh, going up and down on the box. That's like you go, like, and then, or what else, do you do that you, for? You like do three or four training. repetitions. Uh, you know, it's been a while for me, <laughs> Jimmy. But I haven't done it in a while. But I would do the um, you do intervals like rounds on sure. the uh, Versa climber, thirty seconds slow, thirty oh, seconds fast. Oh, I hate you gotta, that you gotta fucking keep it Versa above climber. A, you had to keep it above a certain step to make sure you're not slacking. So that would suck. How long would you do that? At the end of I have no clue. I forget. Five minutes. But uh, no, I would do the fight. I would do a fifteen minutes on there. Something on the like interval. Oh, uh, um, thirty seconds slow, thirty seconds fast. I for would do fifteen that. minutes. Yes. Fuck that. Oh no, I was you know, in my twenties when this was going on. Yeah, I, in know? my twenties, I would have said fuck. We that. would get some good rhythm on there, and then like, then there's different like walkout push-ups. What I mean by that is like, I walk them out to uh, twelve. I go down, I walk out, I do one push-up. I walk out, I do uh, two push-ups. I yeah. walk them out to twelve, and then I go and I walk them back out down to uh, one or something. It, there's all you, it, it makes it kind of fun, and you lose track of how many you're doing, but you do a lot. Right. Okay. I mean, you know, like right now, I told you about the routine I do now, just to stay from turning to shit. Like after my jujitsu, I'll bang out a hundred push-ups, but instead right. of just banging out a hundred, I'll do twenty, then you'll do twenty, then I'll do fifteen, you do fifteen, ten, ten, five, five, then work your way back up, five, five, ten, ten, fifteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty, and it adds up to a hundred. I think. Maybe right. I'm not great with math. I'm pretty sure somebody. The told me gym that. has me so wiped out, though. Yeah, um, wiped out too much that you could, you can't step in the poor Jimmy Rivera's uh, gym. Dude, I'm so fucking exhausted. We gotta have Jimmy back in because I know he's fighting Aljo. Yeah. In uh, February. Yeah, I would it's love in to Arizona, have I think, right? Yeah, man. I was just there in Phoenix, by the way. A lot of unfiltered fans came to the show. Get out, nice. Jimmy. Yeah, so I was happy. What did they say about me? Uh, they, Us. They just the they, did, the show. they just said you and the guy. Now that could they be said, anybody. That could be Chris the producer. No, they said that they liked the chemistry between uh, myself uh, and Jimmy. the Eager House Boy. Sure. They, they said Eager House Boy? Yeah. Okay. Kamora lad. It's Kamora Savage. It's not Kamora Princess. Be careful, you know, where we go with this. The who shirt's off. You, who calls you Kamora Princess? The Black Beast. <laughs> when we're alone. <laughs> no, we get it. Black Beast is awesome. How long till your knee is fixed? Like I got you it, can right now, it. It's pretty much I just got to wait for the skin to heal, you know, because I got a scar. They cut. It's on the outside of the knee, which is the good news. It's not like an ACL or anything. They cut me open, and they took all that sack out of my knee that kept filling up my bursa sack. And now I just got to wait for that skin to heal, man. So I figure a month or less. So you were out. You went unconscious. Yeah, they put me out. You know. How long were you out for? An hour and a half or some shit. I don't know. Did you get sick when you woke up? Sometimes the anesthesia makes me sick. Jimmy. Did you ever hear of a little thing called reefer? Does it help <laughs> oh, you? Get it. No, I, I take the I take medical medi, medical medicine. Did that help good. you for the nausea? Yeah, it helps me with that life, Jimmy. You know that and jujitsu and a little vibe in the off season. Hey, uh, Chris, the producer, hit us with some gossip. 
Uh, Conor McGregor Ooh. has been pretty active on social media going Let's after Paulie Malignaggi, after Khabib. Is that the boxing guy who we had the argument with? Yeah, yeah. that's who he was sparring with leading up well, to the give Floyd us some stuff. Some fight. stuff with him and Al Quinta? Yeah, well, Al... Al didn't trash him. Yeah, Al just said, had a comment about, well, about Connor. Talk, he was we'll asking about it. Bring so us anyway, down the whole thing. So, Connor posted Do a video. Do impressions of the people so we know no. who you're talking about. I will not. 